Hey guys, Dark Matter from Bedlam Brothers here, and welcome to the Power Girl episode of School of Legends. Today, I'm going to be looking at Power Girl. She could be purchased for 85 marks of legend from the Legends vendor. Power Girl's movement mode is flight. This is a basic movement mode, but the only thing to mention is that you can click in and out of supersonic flight. Power Girl's health is 6,552. This is roughly 5% lower than the base level of HP for characters I've tested so far. As with all characters, blocking counters your opponent's lunge attacks. Throughout the series, you'll see each character's lunges, so take note and learn when to block. Power Girl's combat style is more or less brawling, except her range attack has been replaced with her iconic eye laser. Her lunge moves you closer to the target and counters any range attacks. As always, you should take a moment to look at Power Girl's combo list and get familiar with it to become more effective at hand-to-hand -hand combat. As Power Girl uses Brawling Style, there's two combos I'd like to highlight. The first is called Hammer Fist. This is a three hit combo which can execute a lunge on the second and third hit and deals fairly decent damage. The next combo is called Haymaker. This is a five hit combo which can interrupt on the fourth and fifth strike for massive damage. These combos can be clipped at any point, cutting the animation short, allowing you to get started on your next attack. It's important to note that both of these combos can be blocked. For Power Girl's range attacks, her tapped range attack is Thermal Blast. This will not block break a blocking enemy. The held range attack will activate her Thermal Blast which block breaks and does basic damage. Hold it twice in quick succession to activate her Thermal Gaze, which apparently is a block breaker but more often than not, will not block break a blocking opponent. I have managed to see it a couple of times in testing, so I know it's possible, but it's a little bit broken at the moment. Interestingly, it applies a precision based damage over time. This move can be stacked with her other damage over time move, which I'll talk about in a moment. Both of these attacks are susceptible to being lunged. It is important to vary between melee and range attacks in order to trick your opponent and make sure you win the counter for your immunities. Moving on to Power Girl's power moves starting from left to right. First is Knockout Kick. This stuns and knocks back, dealing basic damage on a single target. The second move is called Shockwave Stomp. This does basic AoE damage with a knockback effect on multiple targets. Her third move, Whirlwind Attack, pulls multiple targets from close range, causing a knockdown and basic damage. Her next move, Swoop Attack, damages a single target and knocks them back. Her fifth move, Freezing Breath, causes damage whilst active and has a chance to root targets in the direction you're looking. This move also inflicts a movement debuff. This is also vulnerable to being interrupted. And her last move is Heat Vision. This damages a single target causing fairly strong damage over time. This move is also vulnerable to being interrupted. Overall. Power Girl isn't a very unique character. She handles like Superman and has the same HP and almost identical moves. So if you want to get a feel for Superman before buying him, then Power Girl is a great comparison because they're more or less the same character in the way they behave. In terms of her combat, similar to Superman, she's not the best one-on-one -on -one brawler but can make a great support character. Once again it comes down to being evasive and efficiently stacking her damage over time moves. If you can master that, you'll be a great addition to any Legends team. So why not give Power Girl a go and leave a comment to let me know how you got on. As always check the video description where I'll keep you up to date with any changes that might happen to this character in future patches. Until next time, stay legendary.